I took an e-commerce brand from zero to over $4 million in sales in one year. In this video, I'm going to break down exactly how I did it, go over the exact amount of profits made and more. If you're new to the channel, welcome on over. My name is Juan Valdez and I run my own e-commerce brand and I also help other e-commerce brands scale leveraging growth infrastructures. So let's get right into it. The first thing I want to go over is live results. So as you guys can see, we're here inside of the Shopify dashboard. I'll quickly refresh so you guys can see it's not a screenshot. So here you can see that June 2023 was the first month operating and I did $45,000 in sales. Fast forward to June of 2024, I've done $4.4 million in sales. Now this is revenue. However, make sure you stick with me because I'm also going to share the exact amount of profits made. So here I have all of the components that went into making all of this possible. And I want to go through each one. First, when it comes to the product, obviously this is super important. Um, we focused on the health and wellness space and we started off with one flagship product initially and now we're focused on expanding the product line to help with increasing our aov increasing our customer lifetime value and more going over to the offer obviously for every single e-commerce business the offer is super important we started off with a, a basic offer 10 percent off for new customers and we also started off with a free trial and the way that it worked is a customer could come in buy a sample pack which we would consider a free trial they would get it for free they just have to pay for shipping and after the sample pack is done it's a week's worth of supply they would automatically be billed and uh, receive a full-size bottle of the actual product this worked really well um, we generated a lot of customers with this however we realized that the quality of customers was poor and so right now what we're doing is we're repositioning this free trial to a try before you buy offer so we're basically you know just reframing it and um, we're seeing that amazon is doing this and also some other brands and so we're trying this out for ourselves and the way that this works is uh, basically a customer can get a full-size bottle of the product and not have to pay anything they only pay for the shipping they get it for 21 days they get to try it and then after 21 days they get billed if they decided to keep the product if they want to return it then they have up until the 21 day mark to return the product for a full refund and so um so far um still pretty early but we're seeing really good signs from this but these are the main offers that we have focused on so far now we have tried out other things like different promotions like july 4th we did a specific offer for that black friday cyber monday we did a specific offer for that but these are the main like evergreen offers that we run year round now that we went over the product and the offer let's dive into the marketing so for this brand i took a very unconventional approach to the marketing most brands when they get started they dive right into paid ads specifically with paid social and paid search and email marketing and this works however i've been in the e-commerce space since 2017 and so this isn't my first rodeo i know that whenever you launch a new product or a new brand it's not easy to acquire customers right out of the gate with paid ads paid search and email marketing and so instead i looked at the current landscape and I looked at, okay, what's working, what's not, and where is there the most opportunity for us right out of the gate? And so by doing that, I was able to identify that right now, TikTok is very untapped, right? There is just so much opportunity here that a lot of brands are not taking advantage of. And so what I currently am seeing is that the reach you can get organically on TikTok is unmatched you can't get that reach on facebook instagram or youtube and so i remember that back in the day around 2018 2019 the reach you can get on facebook and instagram was basically the same as TikTok right now and i remember that that short period of time where you could get really good reach on facebook and instagram was an opportunity where a lot of e-commerce businesses did really well with organic specifically. And so I basically um, decided to dive in and go all in on prioritizing organic, but even more specifically, organic on TikTok. And so what I did is I built out an entire infrastructure to leverage TikTok to its full extent. And what this infrastructure involves is, you know, having a procedure in place to hire massive amounts of content creators not like large content creators but micro creators to be specific uh, onboarding these creators managing them uh, working with them on creating content 
finding the, the hottest trends and making sure that they know what those trends are so they can create content around those trends because content that's made around trends usually um, gets more reach and goes more viral compared to content that's not around current trends, especially on TikTok. TikTok is all about trends. And um, this was the backbone of our overall strategy. We use this to get organic reach, get massive amounts of content being put out, which we then went through that content and gathered a lot of insights on what content resonates the best with the audience we're looking to target, what angles work the best. And with this, we were able to gather so much insights and we were able to then take these insights and leverage them for paid ads. And so with this organic content infrastructure, we were able to benefit from it with organic sales. So originally we started off just getting all this traffic and then sending it directly to our website. We then started to leverage TikTok shop, which by the way, if you're an e-commerce brand and you're not leveraging TikTok shop, there's just so much opportunity here that's just being left on the table. As you can see in January 1st of this year, our first month on TikTok shop, we did $8,000 in sales. We then shifted our entire strategy to our TikTok shop instead of pointing to our website. And fast forward to uh, May of this year, we're now doing $100,000 a month on TikTok shop. And so the opportunity there is just absolutely insane. Um, I've made past videos on this. So if you wanna learn more about TikTok shop, you can go ahead and check those out. Now with this organic content infrastructure, we benefited from the organic reach. We gathered a lot of feedback and insights on what content and messaging and angles work best for our product and our brand. And we also started to generate sales from all of our organic efforts, right? As you can see. Now, the intention behind this was never to only try to benefit from organic reach and the sales that come from organic. We knew that we wanted to leverage this, maximize our reach on TikTok, maximize the sales from TikTok, but also get content at scale. Because when it comes to paid ads, it's all about creatives nowadays, right? And so we then leveraged all of this infrastructure to consistently create new creatives. And then what we did is every time that we would have a video that went viral and that got really good reach, we would then start to scale it across organic, specifically by reposting it on Instagram, reposting it on YouTube shorts, reposting it on Facebook, so that we can amplify the organic reach that we can get. From there, what we would do is we would then take top performing videos that did well organically, and then we would run them as paid ads across TikTok and TikTok shop, Facebook and Instagram, and YouTube shorts. And this is how we were able to really achieve scale, right? And I'm gonna show you guys exact numbers. So this is, again, the backbone of our overall approach and how we were able to scale so quickly and aggressively, right? and profitably. Now, going over to uh, Facebook and Instagram, obviously, you know, Facebook and Instagram is massive. The overall users that they have on the platform is it's only grown. And right now, I believe every single business should be taking advantage of Facebook and Instagram ads. However, when you're first starting off, it's not as easy to get as good results and be profitable on there. But I do think you should leverage it. We did essentially what we did is we took again, our top performing organic videos and we ran them as ads. And we found that most of the time, videos that do well organically almost always do well when they're run as a paid ad. And so we were able to get an instant flow of creatives that we were already able to use from day one. And then we also got a consistent new flow of creatives every single day from the infrastructure that we had built out on TikTok, right? And that's why I said it's the backbone of our overall strategy. And so, um, you know, with this, our content strategy from TikTok fueled our Facebook ads and we were able to quickly scale on Facebook. We also brought on a creative strategist to help stay up to date with other trends that's working well on Facebook and Instagram. We built out a process and then you know, from here to scale, it was pretty straightforward, right? We just had to collect more data. If an ad was working, we did more, we scaled it. If an ad wasn't working, then we went back and we had to optimize and, you know, come up with a new angle, a new variation, or just an overall new approach. And so this is how we approached paid social on Facebook and Instagram specifically, right? Now, the next thing I wanna go over is paid search, right? I hear I included Facebook and TikTok and YouTube, right? We did also leverage YouTube, but I'm actually gonna cover YouTube here on paid search, right? So let's go over to paid search. Most e-commerce businesses think about Google ads as this channel that's only good for bottom of funnel traffic. And most of the time, they're only taking advantage of some of the bottom of funnel opportunities. However, 
As you can see, there's just so much more opportunity across Google when you actually leverage it to its full potential. And so what we do is we leverage Google ads for top of funnel, specifically with non-brand search, YouTube shorts, and non-brand shopping campaigns. We leverage it for middle of funnel with standard shopping, Pmax, and competitor search campaigns. And of course, bottom of funnel. But the way that we approach bottom of funnel is we focus on, of course, brand shopping and Pmax, brand search, but we also take it a step above and we focus on display remarketing and leveraging YouTube and YouTube shorts. Majority of e-commerce businesses are not leveraging YouTube shorts at all. And so right now it's literally an untapped blue ocean. And so overall, this is how we went about approaching both YouTube as well as Google. And um, this is the infrastructure that we built out to take advantage of the platform. Now that we went over the marketing across all channels, let's go over the exact amount of profits made across each one. So here we're inside of a triple whale. This is a third party attribution platform that we use to track all of our metrics. As you can see, obviously we ran paid ads, right? And here you can see a breakdown of the exact amount that we spent, how much we made and the exact profit made. And here we're looking at the same dates. So we're looking at June 1st to June 30th, 2024. You can see here that we spent a total of $2.4 million. We generated $4.3 million and we netted $1.1 million in profit. By the way, Triple Oil has all of our like cost of goods plugged in. So all of our costs are in there and everything. So this is like actual profit, right? Now, what I wanted to point out here is that you can see that we spent the most amount of money on Meta. We tried to get Facebook and Instagram to work for us, but it just wasn't as profitable, right? But we still ran ads on Facebook and Instagram and we still do. If you look at a uh, TikTok, we spent less than we did on Facebook. However, we generated twice as much profit. If you look at Google and YouTube, we spent less than we did even on TikTok, but we generated just as much profit as we did on TikTok. And we also ran Microsoft, right? Very little spend, but still significant profit. And so overall, I wanted to showcase this to give you guys insights on everything that I covered and show you guys that what I'm going over is actually working and is actually generating profitable results because a lot of people in this space share different strategies on things that may work or um, things that they're doing, but very little times do they show the actual profitability behind the strategies and approach. And so all in all, just to bring this full circle, I wanted to make sure that I shared all of this with you guys because I truly believe that if you're looking to run and scale an e-commerce brand right now, you absolutely need to be able to take advantage of paid social, paid search, organic, email marketing, Amazon. You absolutely need all of the channels where you could possibly get customers from, but you also need to take advantage of the most profitable ones. Most brands are not taking advantage of TikTok and TikTok organic. And so that's why there's opportunity to capture there. Most brands are not taking advantage of YouTube shorts. That's why there's opportunity to capture there. When it comes to paid social, yeah, I think TikTok and YouTube, like I just mentioned, are underrated and underutilized. When it comes to paid search, a lot of brands are not fully leveraging Google to its full extent. And majority of brands are not touching Microsoft and Bing ads. And as you guys saw, we're getting a really good return on our Microsoft and Bing ads. And so I wanted to showcase all this to show you guys that I'm not just sharing some like some theory or concept like this is actually working right now. Also, Amazon played a huge role into our overall success. Um, I believe that right now all brands should be on Amazon. Yes, the you know, the, the fee breakdown is not the best, but the exposure you can get on Amazon and the credibility and the overall volume you can get from Amazon is absolutely worth it. So uh, I believe that, again, all brands should be on Amazon. And then retention, just to kind of finalize, this is something that all brands should obviously be working on. For us, we actually focus on subscriptions specifically. And as you can see, a good portion of our overall revenue actually came from subscriptions, right? And so this is something that has been uh, absolutely game changer for us. And I believe that, you know, if you're running a business right now, and you don't have some sort of like reoccurring revenue, or if you don't have other products you can cross sell to increase that customer lifetime value, it's gonna be very difficult to run a sustainable long-term business. And so, yeah, overall, these are all the components that went into making all of this possible. 
If you're running an e-commerce business and you're looking to get help with scaling your e-commerce business, down below this video in the description, there's going to be a link that you can click on to actually book a call with me and my team. And on that call, we can get to know more about you and your business. And then from there, we can see if we can help. If you enjoyed this video, as always, I'd appreciate if you dropped a like on the video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next one.